ang kutsyo. Ang tumindumrah pakah bento kita menaka ni tak di sa menaka si bento ang bina som dal pitika cun te krom itu bika pikai luk nun je nambai minong kah nong katang sumlu ring dal simpu nek cum nien som cuy. Thank you, um, Mr. President. Professor Chandler, we um, uh, left off before the break uh, speaking about the um, 1980s and how uh, the PRK regime may or may not have been involved in the uh, culling of documents. And I think we've, for now, at least from our side, heard enough about that topic. Um, I would like to go back to something that we discussed earlier this morning. And in fact, I started to ask you on, on, on this topic. And we discussed uh, your statements, your referenced in uh, one of your books that the PRK worked hard to focus people's anger onto the genocidal clique that had governed the decay. And based on your knowledge of Cambodia at the time, would you agree with uh, the statement that these activities, so this, this working hard to focus people's anger, um, was at least partly informed by the fact that several high-ranking members of the PRK had themselves been members of the Khmer Rouge? I don't think I can really draw that inference uh, from the evidence that I know. It, it's been said that that was a motive, but these motives have never been uh, put forth. Uh, so I think uh, to give them the benefit of the doubt of the idea of blaming everything on the genocidal clique was a way of being able to move Cambodia forward uh, without having massive uh, trials and recriminations. But your own statement, I don't think that entered particularly into the uh, planning of these people. If I could um, once again put on the screen uh, the same documents that we uh, discussed before, um, that I started the um, questioning with, and it's English ERN 00192688, and uh, Khmer ERN is 00191839. If I have your permission, Mr. President, to put it on the screen, we looked at it this morning. Mr. Chandler, for your reference, this is a, an excerpt from Voices from S21, and I wanted to um, quote, I will just for clarity purposes start with the following line, and I quote, within just such a Manichaean framework, the PRK regime worked hard to focus people's anger onto the genocidal clique that had governed Cambodia between April 1975 and January 1979. While the new government based its legitimacy on the fact that it had come to power by toppling the Khmer Rouge, it was in no position to condemn the entire movement since so many prominent PRK figures had been Khmer Rouge themselves until they defected to Vietnam in 1977 and 1978. Professor Chandler, if I read that language, it 
to me seems that your position in this book, at least, is that this Khmer Rouge provenance of some of the um, ERK high-ranking officials was at least part of the reason for the focusing of people's anger onto the genocidal clique. Would you agree that's a fair reading of this excerpt? Yes, I would. I would qualify my answer over by saying that the former Khmer Rouge, by fleeing the movement, had become ex-Khmer Rouge, and were not, in that case, subject to Vietnamese uh, uh, persecution, if you like, or uh, judgment. Uh, also, their own feeling was, and the feeling of the PRK was that all the former PRK who did not flee the country with uh, the other leaders of the party and the large number of soldiers who fled to Thailand had made, uh, that way, made a statement that they were no longer under the, they're no longer loyal to the Khmer Rouge. So it's, it, that complicates your, I mean, the answer is, of course, it was a factor, but it complicated by the, these two kind of, not uh, forgiveness exactly, but a way of operating with the people they were operating with. They'd fled, they hadn't uh, been caught in Phnom Penh and put into office. They fled to the Vietnamese uh, in Hun Sen earlier than, the other, than many of the others, but they all had, had sought uh, asylum and uh, support in Vietnam. You mentioned that Hun Sen had fled earlier than the others. Um, could you give us years or estimates of years as to when Hun Sen and the others, the others fled to Vietnam. I'm reluctant to intervene, Your Honours, but I just see no relevance to this, to this line of uh, examination whatsoever. It does not assist in a better understanding of CPK authorities, structures, the history of the movement, the policies of the crimes committed. It seems to me a, a, an inquiry into matters that are not related to the indictment. Your Honours, I just have to say that I'm not going to be able to do this. In response, I can say that the it is the defense's position that what happened after 79, including the 1980s, is directly relevant for what we are discussing today. Several of the people that we are talking about that were high-ranking officials in the 1980s are still powerful figures today. So their motivations and their views of the I'm not naming names. I am leaving it to the professor to uh, come up with, with, with answers. Um, but clearly, there is a line to be drawn in a historical sense, and I think the professor can agree with me on this, between the party that was in power in the 1980s and the party that is in power still today. So the attitude of the PRK in 1980 and the 1980s is relevant when we discuss these proceedings. And of course, I am leading, um, I will follow up these questions with uh, more questions that make it clearer why Today, Jim Toa, Nung Tong Mang Hai, Nui Sak Day Jim Toa, Robo Nung Nang Sa Pei Nha On Ra Chi Yit, 
miền bù hai trầm trời sau đây chúng tôi nên miền bắc tập hiệp nên chấm điểm miền trung mai chơi top tận đường sầm nua đại su đời vì tại vì anh đã chiết cao bị cây lục nôn chia sầm nua trong cầu này thì I will then move on to the next question, and I am again relying on your historical knowledge um, of Cambodia, and you have discussed in the past uh, the notion that a trial of the Khmer Rouge leaders might be embarrassing to the current regime of Cambodia. And I want to verify with you whether that is I'm not sure that that statement of uh, you, which I must have made in, uh, <coughs> in a journalistic context, has uh, something I need to to today. My views about the trial are, uh, I've always been for the trial. Uh, I've made some comments about it, certainly, in uh, other contexts, but uh, I'm not going to take some sentence out of context and try and defend it. I am not referring to any documents, so I will just ask you, in the context of this questioning, do you agree with the statement that um, a trial of the Khmer Rouge leaders might be embarrassing to the current regime of Cambodia? ตบตบโลกสมสมนุนนี้อาจมีเปะปอนเด้โดยฉะนั้นเนี่ยจํานวนมันจะบ่าฉลอยตอบตํานึงสมนัวរបស់វេទវីការពេក្តីនុនជា
Cambodian government officials have ignored summons to testify before the ECCC, summons that were validly issued by the international co-investigating judge Marcel Lemonde. For the record, Mr. President, I respect your ruling, but I do think that មិនមែនឆ្លៀតយកពេលវេលានេះសម្រាប់ធ្វើប្រទេសអ៊ីរ៉ឹកនៅពេលដែលអង្គចម្រេះតម្រាច់រួចហើយនោះទេបើលោក
ลูกศรัทธาจ้ามันมาชอยตอบตัวหนึ่งสมนุได้สู่จงคร้อยได้มีตวีอันตรายชีพกาบิกได้ลูกนุนจิตีลูกมีตวีเหมือนลูกมันทนาพายเนื้อสำนาซุ่มรึเปล่ามีตวีดำนางดำมันดังรอดแบบนี้สมัยลูกมีการปิจารณาน้องการตั้งสมบูรณ์ในดาวเปียปอนตัวหนึ่งมันดากระทาคันดังไล่ในขนมดีการดำนอสไรดำไปชลมิจังในเปียปอนตัวหนึ่งดีการดำนอสไรนิจิกาหล่อให้เราตรมตรีเราตามดิติวิธีได้เป็นดังดาวในจุบุมกองจุมเรียงคุณมิสเปรสิเดนต์ไอมิดวีสมัครนายกรัฐมนตรีขอบคุณมากที่ได้รับการยอมรับจากพวกเราขอบคุณมากที่ได้รับการยอมรับจากพวกเราขอบคุณมากที่ Facts that we are talking about, as I think Professor Chandler agreed to, he agreed with the statement that facts as such are can be influenced by later historical conventions and understandings, and that's all I'm trying to do. Trying to link together history of the CBP, history of certain persons in CBP, to explain. What now their attitude towards the trial might be, but I understand that this court uh, does not give me room to ask these questions. So I see myself forced to abandon this uh, line of questioning. Um, I have two minor points before I see the floor to. Uh, Mr. Yunitsi, just for the record, um, I just want to note that Professor Chandler's uh, microphone was not on when he actually answered the question whether or not this trial might be embarrassing to the current regime of Cambodia. And Professor Chandler could be heard saying, might be, yes, and if we want to verify that. Um, I would be delighted, but I think it's enough to, to mention it uh, on, on for the record. Cái lúc này xin mời các rãi, xin lại tốt cho nâng Phạm Anh Hà để lực lạc đời Mì tử vi ẩn thật chết cao về cái đầy lũng luôn chí Để bàn lực lạc trong cõi của anh mình đi The comments that council just made are not part of the formal record. Uh, the, um, uh, this is an unfortunate attempt to get a comment in uh, by uh, a, a very informal uh, path. Uh, Professor Chandler's microphone was off. 
and uh, certainly no one in the trial chamber among the judges heard any such comments and nor are they confirmed as part of the record. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, thank you, uh, Judge Cartwright, for that clarification and your use of the word unfortunate uh, leads me to clarify that this might seem that there is some doubt as to whether um, Professor Chandler actually said this, and I will um, refer gladly to uh, Mr. Yanutsi, who has separately uh, វិទ្យការដែលអង្គយំរះជូនទៅលោកគឺពិភាក្សាដេញដោលជាមួយនឹងអ្នកជំនាញ Thank you, Mr. President. I, um, I was not trying to do that. I'm just trying to clarify that um, what I tried to do was in the Mr. President, in a context where my colleagues have been sanctioned or have been where complaints have been filed um, to their respective bar associations, I think it's absolutely crucial that we get on the record. I will respect your ruling, Mr. President. It leaves me to say that Professor Chandler has given a few answers that seem to be in contradiction to some material that he has written in the past. We are not allowed to use that before this court. ពិធានកៅសពីនៃវិធានផ្ទៃក្នុងសក្តិសន្តិស្ថាន ដោយមានចែកនៅក្នុងស្ដីណែនាំអនុវត្តពី Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I would also like to point out that you as the President have the explicit task under the internal rules to um, make sure that the fair trial rights of the defense are respected. Thank you, Mr. President. 
lúc nơi ta chỉ liệt ốc cả liệt về về liệt nó bay phơi thay cả bẹp đi lúc ai tăng sầm nua bẹp pon chấm mây nâng sa được thiên nơi chấm này đấng âm pi robot tự sa campuchia bẹp pon từ nâng nợ chấm niên robot bị tú david chatler nơi bảy hà tiền lái dinosaur đầm bầy ở ở lạt hiệp nơi khăn ông ca vì phía xa đánh đó chẳng cua nẹt chùm đi như lúc đi Thank you, Mr. President, and that's what I am trying to point out. My comments relate directly to Professor Chandler's testimony. It will take me one minute to explain. Look, David Chandler, Mr. Chandler has authored a document that seems to contradict some of his statements here today, and we want to use the document for the purposes of impeachment. Mr. Chandler, I want to say that the government is a government that 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 is a government Nâng lý tệ vị thí này cả đại cả xa nơi chủ phục mốc ông chủ phục mốc Nhưng bạn này nó phải hỏi Làm sao để lục miền và xa trong cơ hội này Cứ chỉ đầy sân ở thang Vì đầm lấy từ lứa ca bắt đầu tại khai cám Rồi bỏ nợ chùm nhìn Để viết chân lờ Nhưng mình ảnh ở nhà đòi lục thư vứ Đội chân này tế cứ ảnh ở nhà đòi lục thư vứ Chỉ lê lê ả xó đội miền chay Nơi khăn ông vị thiên cao sở phí Nơi vị thiên tây khăn ông Lục ai an nơi đang bay ở ở trong ngõ nơi ở vậy đấy lục miền cao phần phong thưa bảy mươi dương mình ăn ở nhà đại lục thưa bảy mươi tỷ xong chơi luôn rồi chắc không Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I just want to um, clarify uh, uh, one matter. Uh, this is not about the use of contradictory documents, but you are being asked to put questions that are relevant to the issues in case 00001. That is the sole reason for preventing you from pursuing this line of questioning. If you have a relevant question, you may certainly put it. Thank you. Thank you, President, for allowing me to clarify that. Thank you, Judge Cartwright, for that clarification. And I have no further questions at this stage, as I was trying to make clear. We want to write a document for impeachment purposes that we will file a written motion on as your present request. And based on that document, we do want to reserve the right to ask follow-up questions after the document has been, if and when the document has been admitted to be used for the impeachment of this witness or the evasion of questions for this witness. And that can be done today. And considering that the defense has until Wednesday to question this witness, I just wanted to give you advanced notice of what our plans were. So I have finished my questions. Now that it is on the record that I reserve the right to ask some follow-up questions if and when this particular document is admitted to be used in these proceedings, I would like to reserve the right to come back to some of these issues. But for now, I see to my colleague, Mr. Yunitsyn. Thank you, Mr. Yunitsyn. Thank you, uh, Mr. Powell. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, everyone. I will be uh, very, very brief as usual. Um, and just to give my, my colleagues to my right on the side of the stage uh, some advance notice, I will surely finish 
for the next uh, coffee break. So if I could, uh, Mr. Chandler, very quickly return to Wednesday, uh, the 18th of July. I'm, uh, I'm going to be using the draft transcript, so I would appreciate it if you'd correct me if I make any, any errors. Uh, on Wednesday, referring to uh, a document, uh, document number E3-12, and I don't want you to look at that document. That's the, um, the document we're all, we're all well aware of. That's the Central Committee decision on a variety of matters. You and Judge Cartwright engaged in a short uh, exchange regarding that document. I'll just slow down a bit to take your wife's advice. Uh, the question put to you was, the document also states that the government is to be a, quote, pure party organization. Is this how the government operated in practice, namely, with no distinction made between the governing of the country and the political party in power? That was Judge Cartwright's question, and your answer was yes. I think there was really to be no genuine distinction. The secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party was also simultaneously and all the time the Prime Minister of the country. So there's no distinction there. There were no balancing elements to the party rule that were independent of it. It was. And I mean they have described it truthfully, I think, as a government by and for a ruling party. Does that accurately, in your recollection, reflect uh, the exchange you had with Judge Cartwright? More or less? Yes, that's fine. Thank you. So my question to you is this. If you, Professor Chandler, were simply to change the language in your answer, Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party to perhaps, quote, Vice Chairman of the Cambodian People's Party, and that, of course, is Hun Sen, would the assessment on its face accurately describe the political state of affairs in Cambodia today, more or less? Uh, I'm sorry to object to my friend's very first question. Clearly, it's entirely irrelevant. It should be relevant. Well, if it makes any difference to your honors, I'll repeat what we've been saying all along. Parallels between activities of the Khmer Rouge and the current government in power are relevant for a whole host of reasons. We're on the record as, uh, as making those submissions. I assume this, this question is not going to be allowed, so I'll end up there and move on to my next question. And this, if I could just briefly, very briefly, and I, and I promise, Professor Chenna, this will be the last question on the issue of culling. There's just one thing that's unclear in my mind, and, and I do take the point you made just before the, the lunch break about not being prepared to go too much further uh, on that point. And you've already given your opinion as to the effect of any such culling that may or may not have happened on the three gentlemen on trial today. My question is slightly different. What is your expert opinion, if indeed you have one, on the effect of any culling on other individuals? For example, is it reasonable to suggest that uh, such culling may have worked to the benefit of former PRK officials who are currently sitting in power in Cambodia today. Is that a reasonable thing to, to suggest? Uh, I see there's going to be an objection from my good friend across the stage. ແລະຈຳເລີຍກໍມາຊ່ວຍຕອບຕັ້ງສຳນູຈັ່ງສະດັບອົງຈຳເລີຍສໍາລັບເລີຍສະກະໄດຈຸມຕົວຂອງພິ
ตำราการฉับละห้าทำใบมีนซากรอมฉับละห้าสำหรับจุนรงครูอาจจะดำเป็นดังรอดเวนีให้นักจุนรงครูเซนเจสมากุลุกเทียนนี่คือสิ่งที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ผมจะถามในขณะที่ và t r ư ờ chúng tôi đừng có mang hay nơi trời chúng tôi rồi bỏ mấy tại vì nó mốc đồng nàng đang đang rập vào bên ní rồi trầm trừ rồi sầm luôn đi mình phải bòn thì đây chúng tôi miệng sạch được hiệp nhẹ chấm đi mình bạch loài tốt thì nâng sầm nua đại su trong cày đời mì tại vì anh đã chiết cà bị cây lục nôn chia này thì Thank you, Aram. I'm almost done. I've got two more questions. Uh, moving on to a slightly different topic, uh, on more than one occasion in this courtroom, I have noticed, personally noticed, that certain former Khmer Rouge cadre, when questioned regarding the activity of other former cadre, have drawn certain curious blanks when one would reasonably expect them to, to know this information. So with this as the, the sort of context, my, my question to Mr. Ch Professor Chandler is, I know they mentioned on, I think it was Thursday, that you didn't want to suggest that the Khmer Rouge was uh, some kind of a gangster group, and I'm not trying to, to draw any, any parallels here with the mafia by using this word omerta, but I think you're probably familiar with that. Uh, professor, uh, are you aware? Are you aware of any evidence suggesting that any insider witness, that is any former Khmer Rouge cadre who may have been testifying in this court, may be acting, may be acting pursuant to some kind of Khmer Rouge code of silence with respect to those individuals who are either in the government or under the government's protection at the moment? I see my My colleague is again on his feet. I suppose this is going to be the way it goes today. Ah, one may be the man that the Lord will need to talk. But that's him. Then that's what him talk about. Look, that's him. Then come out on the slide. Tom, jump to the on the left side. Le, say that him talk. But what? From that, may be the man that the Lord will need to come on. Some joy. The man that may be the man that the Lord will need to come on. But some group look at him. ปัญหาแบบนี้เจ้าบ้านลูกประเทศสมรจิตยึดโยยให้คือเจ้าปัญหาได้เอาเนี่ยจุ่มเนี่ยยืดกระสาษใช้ชาวอย่างปีปัญหาในเตวิธีบัตรลาคาจังกะในนี้เนี่ยจุ่มเนี่ยยืดกระสาษใช้มันเป็นสมัครกันอย่างขนมกาชาวอย่างปีปัญหาในเตวิธีบัตรลาคาจังกะในนี้เนี่ยจุ่มเนี่ยยืดกระสาษใช้มันเป็นสมัครกันอย่างขนมกาชาวอย่างปีปัญหาในเตวิธีบัตรลาคาจังกะในนี้เนี่ยจุ่มเนี่ยยAgain, I, I, would, I would just like to point out that Professor Chandler did indicate that he was doing his best to follow these proceedings. He was reading about in the newspaper. He was discussing it with certain colleagues, perhaps, if he doesn't know, if he's never noticed this sort of thing. That's perfectly acceptable. That's a perfectly acceptable answer. He may be in a position to shed some light on this issue. If it's no, that's fine. I'm not going to put words in your mouth. I'm not going to put words in your mouth. เมตวีสามเมตวีนอมกลำนางดังบดังรอบปีนี้ตรมตรึสักได้จุ่มตัวมีนบสัตว์เพียบเนี่ยจุ่มเลี้ยงมันจะบัดชลอยตอบเตือนหนึ่งสมนุ่ยได้สัวลังดาวเมตวีอันตรายชีดกาบิกรายลูกนุ่นจี้ได้สัวลูกกระจงกรอยบันเมนิตี Well, then, let me let me finally then turn to some words which I believe actually have come out of the professor's mouth, and I'm just paraphrasing here. But professor, my my question would be: Have you ever made the following assessment of a former Khmer Rouge cadre, and if so, who in fact were you describing? And again, I'm paraphrasing. He is an extremely competent politician, the most competent politician in Cambodia. He listens. He's got good advice. He's modernized. He's very quick. He's also a thug. He has blood on his hands. He does things to people who get in his way, and they are not at all pleasant. Professor, did you ever make any remark like that?
ông chỉ biết làm lại rồi sẽ để chúng tôi rồi bảo đồng nàng thay về nhà rồi cả tăng tổng nua để chọn rồi nè xong chơi lúc đồng nàng thay về nhà Nam Nang Sa Phê Nha Sông Thầy Tô Hợp Chim Sông Mà Chọn Sọ Sông Nua Phim Mũi Hà Sông Nua Chọn Khói Nhi Chia Sông Nua Đã Phra Chia Ông Pi Phật Tiên Nam Bát Đã Thật Sư Sông Mùa Mình Phạc Phật Thật Tá Còn Sông Đại Anh Tết Sông Nạ Ông Pi Nên Dư Bái Đã Mình Phạc Chia Chim Mùa Nua Phật Đói Phư Mình Phạc Phật Nói Tê Hợp Cốt Mình Bán Phư Ôi Mẹ Mình Bán Mẹ Chạy Thao Bình Mẹ Thầm Đẹp Tâm Đông Nâu Sao Nạ Ca Tì Nhi Pi Tạm Bì Tất Môn Mà Tê Đức Chính Này Hói Sông I may very briefly respond to the two students who were clubbed. That's actually a word I've used in the same courtroom to describe that very same individual. So it's not the first time we've heard this. And our position would be that thuggish government behavior, which in our point of view, from our point of view, has an effect on the operation of the judiciary in this country, is a major fair trial issue that needs to be addressed in this court. Obviously, Your Honor, so I agree with this. That's my position to the court. Chúng hồ rồi bỏ nhóm trong bậc cảm dục cả xua xung đuôi này Bà Bà Sẽ đây chúng tôi nâng dụng bằng hết rồi bỏ Lòng nàng xa bề nhá Trâm trừ Sẽ đây chúng tôi nâng miền bất thật đập hiệp Nẹ chúng đinh mình chẳng bạch cho loài tốt Nên nâng dùm đuôi trong cõi rồi bỏ Mì tử bí ẩn trả chết cao vì cái đầy lục đồn chiên này thì Hãy thông chúng điếp đồng lực đo mì tử bí Lòng nàng đang đang rộng lý thá Rồi xanh bà lục miên chê tà ná nâng nông cao chúng tôi Lúc vừa tới đây chúng tôi bảo ông khăn nha Thì chỉ mùi nâng sẽ đây chúng tôi bảo Đồng nàng thạ bởi nha Hơi cả nà thuốc đây chúng tôi rồi hơi Phía khi mà kháng tiết Đây tôi tôi đây chúng tôi nó ai cho loài tốt Thì nâng sẽ đây chúng tôi nó bán Nhi chìa ca chóp nâng Ca Và bằng hai nhằm phí xong ăn hết Nâng sẽ đây chúng tôi Hơi ông chúng ta nâng xong rãi hơi Mình ai ông nhìn ra thật đập để chúng tôi đã bảo vệ kỳ mà kháng tiết thấy lục ngập cho đầm bầy miền bầm nòng này gì được chưa này thì sầm chơi to sầm nua Thank you, Your Honor. I have no further questions. Just a comment that the remark, as I understand it, was attributed to the describing Mr. Van Sen. I have a document here in my hand which bears a case file number. Unfortunately, it's part of this bundle that we have been prevented from using. In fact, I've got a whole stack of them in front of you. Those documents, which, as I've said, have been twice already, were disclosed to all the parties well in advance, and I'm unable to use it, unfortunately. I'll do my best to make a retroactive or a post-active the rule 87-4 application with respect to this document. But for the moment, I see the floor to my colleagues on the right um, emphasizing what my colleagues said that we do reserve the right to have a bit more time uh, should his request be granted. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Jan, for coming to assist us. We're grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. บ่เอาคนเลยนี่ดาวเปลี่ยนเทียนไมโครโฟนลูกเทียนอัดบ้างบ้างไปเลยนี่ดาวเปลี่ยนสำหรับสำหรับได้ให้ในที่การตำรว